Hi, this is George Sicalius, and this is my Sprint 1 overview. Uh, so just starting the demo, it works normally. Clean that out. So I renamed the game class to my engine. Um, nope, yeah, here. Okay. So yeah. So actually inside the engine, I moved all of the um, asset loading into um, the uh, asset managers. Um, so load resources is effectively doing all of this. And to go into more detail over here. So resource load resources is a method uh, from my engine class. Um, this method is uh, user defined. So the user is gonna enter in all of the uh, paths and their corresponding keys along with the uh, corresponding manager. Um, so now looking into managers, starting with the uh, model manager, um, it's a singleton, they're all singletons. It has a static pointer to itself. Um, it's accessed elsewhere in the program uh, through static methods. Um, it loads in assets and it also distributes them. And when it also uh, unloads all of the assets, um, where is that? So when unload content is called, all of the uh, managers will unload their uh, the assets attached to them. So, hold up, okay. So all the assets are stored in uh, maps, uh, string asset pairing, so string and uh, model pointer. Um, I also have a uh, string which uh, corresponds to the uh, folder where the assets are located. So just pulling this up really quick. So in the assets folder, I separated them into um, depending on what kind of asset they were. So textures has all the textures, shaders has all the shaders, etc. Um, so now looking now looking at the uh, coding side model manager uh, private load um, you pass it a key and a path if the uh, key is already in use then it'll send an error to the console otherwise it'll put the uh, pairing inside of the uh, map um, I also have a load for the uh, pre-made models. Um, same thing, if the key's already in use, it'll send an error, error otherwise it'll um, insert it into the map. Uh, get, when a, uh, when get is called, um, first uh, the map is uh, searched for the key. If the key isn't found, then it'll throw an error saying that there doesn't exist the given key. Otherwise, it'll um, return the uh, pointer to the uh, corresponding asset. So in this case, uh, model a pointer, a, yeah, model pointer. Um, and then when uh, the manager is terminated, it will iterate through um, the map and delete all of the uh, models. Uh, located within it um, and after it deletes all of the models it then clears the map and uh, deletes its uh, pointer to itself <sighs> so yeah so shader manager and texture manager work the same way they're singletons they store the um, assets in uh, maps um, they have a string to the corresponding to the folder name. Um, yeah, just 
just looking over that code. Load things in, check to make sure the key's not in use. Um, when getting something, check to see if the key exists. Um, when unloading, deleting all of the assets. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's exactly the same as model. Same thing with texture manager. Same thing in singleton pointer to itself. Uh, map storing all of the assets. <clears throat> Loading, getting, terminate. Uh, Project loading, yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Oh, and yeah, over here, um, I started uh, breaking the uh, program into a uh, engine define engine code and then uh, user code so the user isn't going to touch the engine but they can uh, change the things inside of this folder um, yeah I think that's it okay